Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a iPhone application um, with uh, table, table views. So we're going to choose a single view application and I'm going to call this table view tutorial. And device will be iPhone, we'll use a storyboard and we'll use automatic reference counting. And again, we're not going to use a Git repository. And just click Create. I save my project on the desktop. Go to your storyboard and add a add a table view. So here's a table view. I'm gonna add the table view. And um, in this tutorial, we're gonna populate the table views with some contents. And when we click a content, we're gonna make a display on a on a label. All right, let's look for our label. Okay. All right. So now we have um, two elements in here: the table view and the labels. So we go to our assistant editor and we control drag the table view onto here. Table view is going to be an outlet, and um, I'm going to call this my table view. And type is a UI table view, storage is weak, connect. And also I'm gonna do the same for the label. Control drag it into the view controller.h connection, it's an outlet, and I'm gonna call this display label. Type is UI label, storage is weak. And um now and in the in the view controller dot h we need to add we need to add these in order to be able to to use our table views we need to add the table view data source and um, ui table view delegate so you need the ui table view data source and ui table view delegates in your view controller dot h and um, in our implementation file, our view controller.m, we are going to first we're gonna define an array. I'm gonna have an array. Um, let's do ns array and we'll call this one array of names. And we're gonna def we're gonna initialize and instantiate our array here. So in our view in the view did load methods. So array of name equals NS array alloc init uh, init with objects and let me get rid of the assistant editor to have a bigger screen. So init with objects. So here I'm gonna add some objects called um, name one uh, name two and name three. All right. So that in that initializes our array of items, and it instantiated with three items: name one, name two, and name three. And we also in our view did load. We also need to set our set the delegate and data source to my table view so here we're going to say self dot my table view dot delegate equals self and self dot my table view dot data source equals self all right and we're going to need to define a couple of methods in here um, in order to make the the array show up on our table views so we need um, we need this method called number of sections in table view. For this tutorial, there's only going to be one section. All three of, of these elements in the array will, will appear in one section. And um, we can also do a number of rows in sections. So here it is, number of rows in sections. For this tutorial, we're going to have we're gonna return three because there's um, or instead of three, you can you can type it out like this. Um, 
array of names dot count and then that will return three for you and the method that you need is uh, is called self row at index path in order to um, to populate the table view cells with the with the array items so look for one that says self row at index path there it is and here um, we're gonna we're gonna define our array. I, not our array, our our cells that will be displayed in the table view. So static and a string cell identifier. We'll call this cell, and we're gonna do um, UI table view cell cell equals table view DQ. Um, DQ reusable cell with identifier and identifier and if um, cell equals nil then UI table then cell equals UI table view cell alloc in it with in it with style and the style is going to be UI table view cell style default reusable cell identifier again is the cell identifier and from there uh, we can we can generate our cell so we can say um, cell dot text label dot text equals um, array array of names at position index path dot row so what that does is it's gonna um hold on it doesn't like something here in array of names at index path dot row oh okay I see bad syntax array of names object that index index path dot row there you go there I should like that a little bit better so what this does is it sets the the index path dot row it's going to go through it three times so index path dot row will be 0 1 and 2 and it's going to assign it to the to the cell so and from here um, at the end we just return cell and this should be all that we need in order to um, to generate the table view so let's run it on our iPhone 5.1 simulator and see if it does alright um, again my simulator is on a different screen here, let me bring it back to the same screen. All right, so it does bring it up, name one, name two, and name three. But notice when we click on it, nothing happens yet. So we can, we need this method in order to make whatever we click appear in our in our label. So do table view cell, and then do did select row at index path. Here it is. Let's select row at index path. And what we're going to display here is um, let me see what this is called. Display label. Okay. So display label dot text equals um, array of names object that index index path dot row. And from there, whatever whatever row is selected should be displayed in our display label dot text. So that should work, and let's see if it does. Okay. Name one, name two, name three. These aren't actually um, rows, so nothing happens. So again, name two, name one. All right, so that's the end of this tutorial. Hope you have learned something new and um, keep watching and I'll think of some other tutorials to, to come up with 
hopefully a little more complex than this. All right, bye.